Arby's, we have the fish. When Arby's, notoriously known for meat, suddenly comes out with a fish thing, come on, we're gonna make it. I'm watching TV the other day. Yeah, some people still watch television. I don't have cable. Don't get on me for that. I'm not that old that I still have cable. Anyway, on comes an Arby's commercial for, of all things, fish. Like fish and chips fish, but not, oops but not regular fish and chips. It's fish and chips breaded, not with regular breading, but with hush puppy. And I looked at that and I went, we're absolutely making that. Now we have to order it. We're here. Oh God, what else do we want? Look at all this stuff. Anybody want fries? I don't care about yeah, fries. Yeah, get curly fries, they're the best here. Okay. What was that other thing you saw that the they made? The Bug Steakhouse Burger is another special limited thing. Oh, Smokehouse Brisket? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, could I order a um, five piece of the fish strips? Please, is that enough? Five of them is enough? Oh, uh, I'll take the combo and we can do curly fries. Chancey, would you like a drink? Can we get a, uh, a smokehouse brisket? Just a sandwich? I think that'll be it. Fantastic, thank you. Oh, they have sliders. So the goal is get it, taste it, and then make it. That's what we do. Arby's, we have the fish. Have they had ever a fish? I've not eaten it in an Arby's in is this their first fish? Since last never. I don't think they, well, Arby's, we have the meats. Arby's, roast beef, didn't know that. That's interesting. So what you filming? Oh, uh, YouTube channel, cooking. They're hiring. Uh, sorry, <laughs> interviews Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you gotta like beef. Arby's, we have the fish. We got our bag of stuff. More than a hundred million donated, well, forget that. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, tartar sauce. Yep, we'll be making some of that. This has gotta be that brisket thing, right? Here's what we're here for. We came for this and, hmm. I think I'm a little underwhelmed. They're little guys. They're little guys. They're pretty fucking. Oh, Jesus. Look how greasy they are. Look at my fingers wow. already. All right. Well, the taste test is what's important, right? It's all that matters. Does the grease matter? I like it. You guys are gonna like it. Here, I want everybody to try some. It's pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. I like it. Mm, yeah. For a company that just does beef, that extra crunch, you see what it is, the hush puppy coating is, well, there's flour in it, but it's cornmeal, and that's what gives it that little, I think I want it crunchier, but I don't want too thick of a batter on it. Wait, now while we're here, here, Max wanted curly fries. They're the best here. You wanted curly fries, or did you want a curly fry? Because it's oh. just one, hey! <laughs> and, mm. but the grease, man. I'm not down with the grease. Are those good? That's a beast. I don't think I've had them. Okay, and here we go. What was this? The brisket. You know, unfortunately, there's seldom, oh, there's an onion ring. We gotta have one bite. I'm trying to eat so well these days. We could remake this much better. Maybe we should someday, but right now, we gotta go back and cook. I wanna see if we can make it way better than that. And we're back, and we're excited to make this. Like, I'm trying to eat better right now, and I found myself wanting to scarf every one of those little, what do they call fish, what? They call them strips. I wanted to eat every one of those strips, and I didn't, I had one. But here they are, wait, there they are. Still greasy. I'm sure I like the grease part. I do like seeing the cornmeal in this and the shape. I suppose I got to adhere to the shape, right? I got to make that shape now. That's okay. It's just cutting. All right, here's the plan. Very simple. We make the hush puppy batter and we make it thinner than you would for hush puppies because it's going to be a batter as opposed to a round bowl that you know you could roll up and throw at somebody. We'll let the batter rest for 10 minutes. We'll make our tartar sauce. Then we cut our fish, then we bread our fish, then we fry our fish, then we eat our fish. And we hope it's good. My fingers are crossed. Boys, are your fingers crossed? They are. Fingers crossed. They are. Okay, let's go. Did you know that if you go to shopstcg.com right now, we're having a sale. 20% off site-wide. You just need the code. You want to know what the code is? Secret code. Like, that's the actual code secret code. One of the things that you could get when you go there, shopstcg.com, one of the things that you can get is the bundle. Ready for this? Cast iron pan, apron, and our thirst trap towels like this, like this. It's the bundle you want. It's 118 bucks for all three of those things. Actually four, because there's two towels in a set. Go there now, start getting stuff. Dry ingredients first. So first thing into our bowl, the most important ingredient for a hush puppy, cornmeal. 
That's three quarters of a cup, followed up by half a cup of flour. Then we're gonna go two tablespoons of sugar, one, two, about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, perfect. And this we will mix. Make sure there's no lumps. Now the wet ingredients, and they go like this. One egg, we need about a quarter of a cup of grated yellow onion. So I'll go on the small side and like this. Uh, not that piece, and there's some in here. We'll give this a little mix, and now we're gonna need some milk. If we were making hush puppies, we'd use less milk because you want them thick. But I'm gonna start with that, which is about a third of a cup. Now we'll get the dry ingredients back. Remember that I forgot salt and pepper, so I'll now add a, about a teaspoon of our BFF to this. Add the wet ingredients, and mix. So that's hush puppy territory. And it's not what we want. We want more like a, you know, like a pancake-ish batter. A dippable pancake batter. Nice. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. In the meantime, it's tartar sauce. That is non-fat Greek yogurt, about six ounces. We wanna add to this. So here's some fresh dill. We'll cut this up. I'm not a fan of dried dill, but I think in this case, I might be okay with it. I would rather you use dry dill to make this than not make this because you thought it would be wrong. So this is a big... Nice tablespoon of fresh dill, and it goes. And you know, if you were using dry dill, you'd use about half of what you would use of fresh. Okay, now tartar sauce is gonna have pickle, and I got a couple of little dills here that I just wanna chop these guys up into little pieces. Oh, I think this one will be enough. What is that, like three tablespoons of uh, diced dill? I like a chunky tartar sauce. Said. Oh, she did not say that. Okay, a couple other things. And then we need a little lemon juice. We might want more, a little salt and pepper, a little SPG, about a half a teaspoon or so of Worcestershire. That's for a little zip. And this we will mix. This is my standard go-to tartar sauce. I'm in love with it. Want a little bit more lemon though, to thin it a bit. There we go. Chunky, beautiful. All right, let's cut some fish. That's cod. I actually don't know what they use, and I don't really care, because when I make fish and chips, I do like to make it with cod, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now this looks like a little thicker than this, because this is breaded, but I think we'll be okay. But now I really wanna do this dumb thing. Why am I gonna be so anal about this? Get two out of this? Yeah, great. So we'll do this, a little ear off of this. We've got a couple pieces. They're not perfect, but they're gonna be all right. So then a little more here. Piece about that big in here. All right, let's cut a couple more and then we're gonna fry. All right, before we batter them, we're gonna dip them in a little flour to help the batter stick. So this is just regular flour, all purpose flour. This is a little BFF, just a little. This is just a tiny bit more cornmeal just because I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna use a little Creole seasoning, just a little. What was that, a teaspoon? And this we'll mix. You know the drill, right? This coating of flour on the outside will help the wet batter stick better. Okay, now watch. Now we just take our pieces, beautiful little points we've made, get them nice and coated, do the rest, just work your way through the system, and when they're all done, off we go to the fryer. That we're using today that you could use a cast iron pan with an inch or two of oil in it if you didn't have a fryer. The fryer doesn't make it better, it just makes it sort of easier. So don't feel bad if you don't have one. And if you do feel bad you don't have one, please email. I'm sure Max would like to buy everybody one who's in need. Okay. Fryer time. All right, here we are. We got our nice rested batter. We got our pieces of fish, flour coating, and we'll do these guys in here like this. I think I can get them all in. Perfect. All right, now we turn them. Everybody needs to be coated. And when they're all done, we will gently one at a time, lower them into the oil, and finish till they're all in. Four, five, and six. Beautiful. Now, just make sure that nobody's sticking to each other. You know it's not gonna take long. I mean, it's gonna take longer if Max keeps knocking his chair and I have to redo my lines, but nice. I think I'm liking these. Well, mine are definitely a little puffier than theirs are. 30 more seconds. Those are pretty. All right, let's take them out, let them drip a second, put them on some paper towels, and we can have them. And here we are. Our landing pad, and now our hush puppy fish, what do they call them again? Fish strips. Fish strips, like that. Hush puffy fish strips, but wait. We need this and this. Beautiful. And this guy's gonna be my little friend, for sure with some tartar sauce, because I'm a tartar sauce fan. And we bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
perfectly cooked. What was that? Two and a half, three minutes? Oh shit, that's good. So, it's not as crunchy as theirs, but I'm gonna tell you something. It's pretty effing delicious. Could be my new favorite coating for this. I don't know. I just like the fact that they have that. It's a meat place, so they're branching off a little bit. Because maybe not everybody wants meat. And if you don't want meat, always do this. And don't eat the same thing all the time. And hey, if you're new here, hi, thanks for hanging out. And give us a subscribe and uh, maybe a like. I'd say or two, but I think you can only like once. Because if you like it twice, then it takes a like away. So don't do that. Just one like. And give us a comment on what you'd like to see us make. All right? All right. See ya. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm watching. Wait, not when you have a blinker going. Max has all these rules about what you can well, do in his is... car. Well, this is ridiculous. Oh, fuck it. Okay, bud, sorry. I gotta, I gotta do this. No, I gotta do this. Or... Oh, God, you're making me sick. Well, Jesus. Okay, so check this out. Kentucky Fried Chicken on their Instagram. They only follow 11 people. Six or seven of them are guys named Herb, and the other ones are the remaining Spice Girls. So they follow 11 herbs and spices. I think that's fucking genius. That's